So if you guys know anything about me or my channel, I am an absolute GAN hater. Nothing wrong with their puzzles, nothing wrong with their company, but their prices are just way too high for what they offer. But I'm sitting here with the GAN Q package in front of me. You guys are probably asking yourself why I'm double crossing myself. GAN offered to send me a couple cubes to change my idea on their brand. I don't know what they sent me, but they sent me something. So we're gonna be unboxing this, we're gonna be surprised together, and we're gonna see what exactly they have been up to. So I am gonna be completely and brutally honest with this company, with their cubes, and what they sent me. I'll list the price for everything, and if you want anything from this video, go ahead and check out the description. You know where to find this stuff. But I'm curious, so we've got our uh, unboxing kitchen knife, and we are gonna be Probably pretty surprised with what they sent in this package. All right, a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, so we've obviously got some sort of Rubik's snake puzzle. We'll put this to the side. Uh, we have a Swift block. I think that's a three by three. Again, put it to the side and then I think, yeah, this is their uh, smart puzzle, the WI slide. So in no particular order, I have never used a Swift Block 3x3, and so I suppose it would be best to try this out first. So let me do some turns, and I will be honest. I'll tell you exactly what I think this cube should cost, and then uh, we'll compare it. I guess I'll compare it when I'm editing to uh, the cost that it's actually worth. So, Swift Block. Interesting logo. The cube feels really light. Um, I'm actually really curious to see what the plastic feels like. It feels like a cheap plastic, like all the GANs do, uh, or if they used a different type of plastic with this one, so. Okay, let me put the trash to the side here. All right, so the plastic does feel a little bit cheaper. Um, not horribly cheap, but it, it's definitely not UV coated. It's more of that matte finish. Uh, pretty scratchy, actually. It almost feels like, like when you used to get a new Fang Shi out of the box, like way back in the day. Uh, and then they use like the same magnets almost. I think it's the same magnets as the uh, Wave Rider V1. All right, and first turns. It is really tight. Okay, so a lot of catching, uh, very scratchy, but it is really tight, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. Um, and the thing was, in the box, there was no tensioning tools, uh, instruction pamphlet, or anything, so I'm actually curious to see what the tensioning system is, if it's maglev or if it's Okay, so it is screw based with, I think it might be adjustable magnets. So it makes sense why they wouldn't send something, but also kind of a red flag. So pretty interesting. Okay, it is getting faster the more I'm uh, turning it. Okay. I think I've got a good opinion on this cube. Um, it definitely feels quality, like the magnets are, I mean, you definitely tell there are magnets in here, potentially magnets in the core. Um, I don't know. Just the only issue is like the plastic feels not very quality. I'm curious, I may do a full review on this once I like do some solves on it, set it up completely. If you guys wanna see that, let me know, cause I'm curious, but right now, I'll probably say this feels like a $20 cube. I'm unsure what the price actually is. So I said $20 and it actually costs, boom. I don't know what it is, but I'll find out when I'm editing. So this feels like a $20 cube to me. It's all right, it's all right. I'm curious to see what it's like after I completely set it up. But we've got a lot of puzzles to get through. So let me put this to the side and we will grab the snake. All right, so definitely some odd, uh, packaging and maybe it's just because I'm American and not used to that but let's uh, there we go let's muscle this thing open and we have our snake cool 
And then I feel like there's something in the base here. So let me... All right, so the base does open up and we have a cube bag. Pretty cool Monster Go. Wonder if that's the brand that did this. I guess it didn't have any brand on the packaging. So I wonder if, uh, oh, that's so peculiar. What is this? I have no clue what this is. I thought it was a Rubik's snake. Okay. I don't know what those little buttons do. I wonder if it'll say in here. Uh, my Mandarin is not very good. So, oh, cool. They're building like a helicopter, a swan, a fish. Interesting. So I've got no clue what the uh, what the buttons do, or if they're just kind of there for fun. I can't read this. I was I was really trying, guys. I don't know how to read Mandarin. Again, throwing away the packaging. No one needs that, guys. I kept my packaging, like my cube packaging, for years, and then I realized I will never use any of this again. So I just started throwing it all out. Best decision I ever made, by the way. Okay. So a little bit of residue. Uh, that's something we do not want to see when we open something up is like stickers stuck to the pieces, leaving residue. Not good, but pretty easy to get off there actually. So we'll give them a pass. So let's open this thing up. And uh, right off the bat, it is not a Rubik's snake because all the pieces are stuck together. So I wonder, interesting. So. It looks like I might have broke it. Maybe, let's see. Okay, so I pushed the piece and pulled a little bit and this came apart. Uh, so I don't know how to get that connected back on in full honesty. Ah, okay. There we go. I figured it out, I figured it out. So to fix this, you gotta push in on the circle side put that in the notch and then snap them together. Pretty cool. So again, a Rubik's snake. I've only had one and it was like a 1970s, like Rubik's version. Um, so not good quality. This plastic feels really, really thin, um, but I'm no professional on Rubik's snakes. So I have no clue how much I'd rate this. I'm gonna say $10. It seems pretty basic and it actually costs blank. Okay, I don't know what that cost is, but again, I'll find out when I'm editing. Um, I know nothing about Rubik's snakes. So I'm gonna put this to the side uh, and imagine that it is a really good Rubik's snake. Again, we keep we keep the bags, we just throw away the packaging. No need to uh, keep boxes in my opinion. And then finally, I've been really excited actually to try one of these. I had no clue that Gan and Swift Block were like the same company, but um, pretty cool. I've seen this in a lot of smaller YouTuber videos. Um, and it looked a lot smaller actually on camera, but this thing is freaking huge. It's like, I don't know if you guys have the iPad mini in whatever country you're from, um, but it's about that kind of size and that is huge. So I remember Gan said that they would send this. This is their kind of 2024 product um, that they came up with. Seems interesting, um, but let's go ahead and pop this thing open. It looks like we just slide out the box here. Throw away the box. Crap. <laughs> and then we have two things here. I'm guessing a charger and accessories for it. And this, we'll just kind of rip it open here. All right, so charger, a very, very large Swift Block bag for it. Pretty cool. You could probably fit two or three Rubik's Cubes in it. And then a quick start guide. Nothing else in the box, so we'll throw this out. And then we have the slide puzzle itself, which has that really satisfying, uh, like, protective cover over it. All right, all right, not bad. Uh, and I guess it probably needs charged, so... Okay, let me... Uh, let me charge this thing and then we'll see what it does. All right, so 
Not bad charging time. I had this sitting on it for like five minutes max and it's at 50%. So pretty quick charging. Um, it started making noises at me. So I just came over here, turned my camera on quick. Um, let's go ahead and select English. I don't know how to... Okay, we can either do Kolotsky, Number Poo, or Sending. So let's just do the first one. Okay, level one. So, saying arrange accordingly. So I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll kind of knock these out here. Oh, it's got the logo down there too. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I just threw crap on the grass. Let me, let me grab it. All right, so these do magnet pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. This All right, so we got it put together. We'll hit start and let's see what it wants us to do. Slide to start timing. Okay, so I started the timing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm guessing we have to arrange it to a certain pattern, but I've not, it doesn't tell us like what pattern we need to arrange it to. Okay, I've done this for about a minute. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. So let me Google some instructions for this. Okay, so I'm now just about three minutes in on my like eighth attempt. Apparently this piece needs to be here, which I don't know if I'm just bad at this, but I'm on apparently level one. I don't know, I don't get it. There, all right. So I guess that's how you win on this mode is you get the thing in the middle. Um, it's pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie, like listen. It's like the magnets in here like are moving around. It is pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Cool that they've got a screen on it um, and it functions pretty well. Counts your moves, 245 moves. This is actually pretty cool, it's not bad. Now. I don't know how much that they're charging for this, but with the quality of the like pieces, they feel nice with having a screen in a product. I'm gonna guess that this is around $100 would be my guess on how much it costs. I wouldn't pay anything more than like 30 or 40 bucks for this. Um, but the actual cost of it is blank. I ain't got no clue what that means, but that's what the actual cost is. Um, it's cool. It's really cool, but it's just, it seems like it would be really expensive for what it does. It doesn't have a lot of modes. Now I know it does connect to like iPhone, iPad, would be cool. Again, I can shoot a full review on this if you guys want to um, see everything it does, up to you. Let me know if you do wanna see that. Um, but it's an all right product. So with all of the three things we got, um, they're pretty cool. Again, I'm pretty interested on the Swift block and seeing how good it can get after setup. Um, but again, I wouldn't be able to tell you till I do all that, which would be in a separate video if you guys wanna see that. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys. If you made it to this point in the video, comment cat if you made it to the end. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.